Hey there, I'm Meg, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to schedule a post on your Facebook page and Instagram account at the same time using Facebook's new business suite. So what you're going to do is head to the back end of your Facebook page. If you are an admin on your page, all you have to do is just type in your page up here and it will bring you to the back end. So you're going to take your mouse, scroll it on over to this side, and you are going to scroll down to publishing tools right here. Let that load. Wait patiently. Here we go. And it will bring you to this page. So you're going to want to click try business suite. This is super important. You do not want to go up here. You can make a post up here, but you cannot schedule it. So scheduling means that your post shows up at a later time. So I schedule at least two weeks worth of posts in advance to get on top of things. So in order to schedule, again, click on business suite. Wait patiently as that loads. And this is the back end of Business Suite. You can see your published posts and you can see if they were published on Instagram or on Facebook. And you can also see some brief analytics of the two. Now, these are your published posts again. If you want to go and schedule a post, you are going to click on the scheduled button here. And if you have posts that are scheduled, they'll appear here. I'm a little bit behind. That's why I don't have any scheduled posts ready to go right now. So you're going to click schedule post up here. Well, down there. <laughs> and if you notice in the left here, placements, there is Facebook and there is Instagram. You can check both of them. And we're going to click add photo. I'm just going to upload. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm going to show you one thing first. This is super important. If you upload a photo, you're going to get this notification. And what this means is on Instagram, even though you can adjust the crop on Instagram for your full post, Instagram still crops all the photos into a square on your grid which is on your profile and I don't know why but for some reason they don't let you schedule a post that has a full-size photo not cropped into a square which is why this shows up. So for photos like this where I don't want it to crop into a square, I'll schedule it on Facebook and then when it goes live on Facebook, I'll copy my caption, save the photo, and then post it manually on Instagram. Now, if you still wanna post your photo, you will have to crop it to a square before uploading it or else Facebook's gonna get a little, little fidgety with the aspect ratio here. So I'm just going to uncheck Instagram and you'll notice you can go forth and schedule the photo as per usual. But we're going to go and pretend like we're scheduling something to both Facebook and Instagram. So the photo here, I'm going to click the trash can. And if you're overwhelmed by all this stuff, don't worry, I'll go through it in just a little bit. So we're going to click add photo and I'm going to click on a graphic that I made that I know is size to be a square. You're going to wait for that to upload patiently. Make sure you check Instagram and you'll notice that the adjust aspect ratio message does not appear. And you will type in your caption as per usual. Now, there is a 2000 character limit on Instagram. So if you are a long-winded writer like myself, you may run into that. So what I usually do, again, in that case, if I am super committed to that caption, if I cannot condense it in any way, I'll schedule the post on Facebook, the full caption, and then on Instagram, I will condense it for Instagram. As far as I know, Facebook does not have a character limit. Also, an important thing to note when you tag somebody or a page, let's say I want to tag lead, which start typing it in this way. Lead is my community organization. So I'm going to click that there. Oh, and if you haven't tagged before, you, you type in the at sign and then start typing the page you want to tag. And it automatically makes sure you delete the stuff that's not in blue. If the tag holds, you'll notice it in blue. So this is tagged for Facebook, but it is not tagged for Instagram. 
So in order to tag for both, you literally have to put both in the caption. But what you'll notice over on this side, this is the desktop newsfeed preview for Facebook. So you'll see that lead is tagged here, but it's not tagged here. And conversely, if you click on Instagram feed, you can't really tell on Instagram, it doesn't highlight it in blue, but on Instagram, this would show up as blue and then this would just show up as normal black text. So if you do want to tag an account, I would schedule these separately. So I would uncheck, I would schedule for Facebook first, tag, write your caption, schedule, and then come back and redo it for Instagram because it's super important that your tags stick. Another thing is hashtags. They're not as common on Facebook. So if you do schedule your Facebook post separately from Instagram, I would just put your hashtags on the Instagram post. And sometimes what I do is I'll schedule, if I'm lazy, I'll schedule both at the, both at the same time. And then once the Instagram post goes live, I'll just manually go and edit and add my hashtags. Okay, so we covered how to change between the previews. So you can see how your post looks over on this side. This is where you type in your caption. This is your photo here. If you had clicked add photo, it will show up here. You can also do add video, which I prefer to post my videos on the day that I want them published. I don't schedule them because I've noticed that there are fewer video customizations when you schedule it. So for example, it's it, it, I haven't been able to find where you can add hashtags to your video, where you can add it to a playlist. So I just do that on the day that I want that post to go live. Turn into video is something that I have not explored yet, so that may be a later tutorial, stay tuned. This is really not, it doesn't really do anything. So I'll turn off in the Instagram to show you. This is pretty much just for text posts. I haven't used it before, but you'll see this notification shows up that you have to remove your image in order to have the messages. And I, I haven't really looked into it but it's, I don't think it's something super important. With any social media post, you wanna make sure that you have at least a photo because caption posts do not perform well. So just kind of ignore this. So once your post is to your liking, do not click publish. You wanna schedule it. So you're going to click this down arrow right here, schedule post, and then you're going to choose the day and then the time. I usually post at 5 a.m. because that's when most of my people tend to be on social media. So you'll notice it doesn't automatically schedule. It's pretty redundant. You have to click schedule again. Make sure you do that. You'll get this refresh and then you'll be able to see your upcoming scheduled post. And you'll notice that it's just for Facebook because I did uncheck Instagram. But if you had left the Instagram checked, you would see both the Facebook and the Instagram logo here. And you'll see that it's scheduled for the time that you chose. And if you want to click on it, you can see a preview. Now, there used to be a way where you could edit your post. I haven't been able to find that since Facebook made the new update. If I do, I will be sure to let you know in the, um, the caption down below. Down here, all you can do is just reschedule your post or delete your post. You can't even click here, so that's kind of frustrating. And if you want, like let's say you want to publish your post now, just click publish now. So that's it. That is how you use Facebook Business Manager, well, Facebook Business Suite, that is, to schedule a post on Facebook and Instagram. To learn more of the ins and outs of Facebook and Instagram, as well as tips on how to improve your engagement on both platforms, be sure to check out my Facebook facelift and Instagram Insight mini courses, which are linked down below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you'd like to see a tutorial in the future, let me know what topic you'd like covered and I will do my best to get it up. All right, see you in the next video.